Okay, so the next topic we're going to do is, um, well, it's going to take you a little bit of time. It just says solve a right triangle. Okay, simple title, a little bit more work involved. Uh, when it says solve the right triangle, okay, solve means all sides, all angles. So I need to know what little a, little c, big A are. I need those three values, okay? They use a capital letter to indicate um, angles and a lowercase letter to indicate side lengths, usually, usually, okay? So here we go. So let's do the first things first. Let's do the um, the angle because that's actually the easiest one with the given problem that they have. All right. So the angle is not going to be too bad because we know uh, that first off. Oh, hold on, I'm on the highlighter somehow. Okay. So first off, we need 180 degrees in the angle. Okay. Well, this is a 90 right here. So we're going to take off 90. Okay, and then we're going to take off another 50, because 50 is right here, and that should leave me with what's left over, okay? So we'll take another 50 degrees off, and then um, that's going to leave me with 40 degrees, okay? All right, well, that's nice and easy. That means that the uh, measure of angle A is actually going to be equal to 40 degrees, okay? So right here is 40. Just that's just using that they all add up to 180. Okay, so that's a piece of cake. Now, um, the second one it gets a little bit trickier. All right, so the second part. All right, we got angle A taken care of. That's right there. Now, let's go for. We might as well go for this guy right here. Let's go for A. We'll try to figure out what that guy is. Okay, so if you're thinking about uh, and you got options here. You can use any any side length that you like. You can either or any angle that you like. In this case, I think that I'm going to use. Um, let's use the 50. Okay. So if I use this angle, okay, that means I, I want to use the opposite and the adjacent because opposite is 21, adjacent is here. So if I'm using opposite and adjacent, that tells me that's tangent. Tangent of theta is equal to um, opposite over adjacent. Okay, so if I'm using the tangent, so that's we're saying the tangent of 50 degrees, and there was other options there too. Okay, I just chose that one. Tangent of 50 degrees is going to be equal to 21 over a. Okay, and then we're just going to use some of those topics we used before to solve for a. So like we did before, we multiplied both sides by a. I'll do that real quick for you. Let's see. Multiply by a. Multiply by a. That gives us a times tangent of 50 degrees is equal to 21 because the a's cancel. Okay. Divide both sides by tangent of 50 degrees. You get a is equal to 21 over tangent of 50 degrees. Now, that's a calculator problem. Type that into your calculator. I already did that for you. It's done right here. So let me pull that up next to you. So there you go. You can see that. Um, so the 21 divided by the tangent of 50 is going to give you 17.62. It wants you to go to one digit. So we're going to go with A is equal to, or approximately equal to, I should say. Um, 17.6 because that's a 2 so 2 doesn't round up okay 17.6 and you're done okay so we found the a we found the other angle now we're going to find this c okay so to find the little c all right if we're looking for c this is the guy we're trying to find we've got options uh, which angle do you want to use if you want to stick with the 50 which isn't a bad idea if you want to stick with this guy we're going to go opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse, that's probably the best way to go. So opposite over hypo hypotenuse should tell you that sign. Okay. So for the third piece to this problem, let's go sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Okay. And we know that sine of the, the angle we're going to use is 50 degrees. Okay, 
is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So that's going to be 21 over C. So 21 over C, which is what we're trying to find. And just like we did before, we're going to multiply both sides by C. Okay, so let me get a different color here. Multiply this guy by C. Multiply this guy by C. These guys cancel. Multiply to the C times the sine of 50 degrees is equal to 21. Divide both sides by sine of 50. C equals 21 divided by sine of 50 degrees. Calculator. Okay, get your calculator out, try that out. If you type that in, 21 divided by sine of 50 gives you 27.41. I'm going to go one digit, so C is equal to 27.4 degrees. Er, yeah, and that's the, that's actually the length. So, um, yeah, and you're done. That's it. That's all there is to it. So you got three answers here. Let me highlight them for you. You got one right here. You got one right here. Oh, why didn't that work? One right here. And then one right here. Okay, and that fills in the missing pieces, and I'm done. Okay, good.